Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice radical equations? We want to know the value of n that satisfies this. So one thing we have to note is anything like root, uh, we are going to get two values and one will satisfy, one may not satisfy. It. So let's see how we can get the two roots for this and consider the one that satisfied it. So the first thing is, let's say solution here. Suppose we take root n to other side. Here we have 2 root n equals 2 minus root n. Then we have to take the square of both sides. So by squaring both sides, here becomes 2 root n squared equals 2 minus root n squared. So from here, let's say we have a minus b squared. So this equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. And then we have these two and root n. It means 2 we take squared, that is 4. Then root cancel squared, here is 4n this equals so 2 is a and the root n is b here becomes 2 squared and 2 squared here that gives us 4 plus so square and root cancelled we have this as n minus 2 times 2 times root n so it follows to this stage here becomes 4n equals 4 plus n minus 4 times 2 times 2 that is 4 then a is root n suppose we take this 4 root n here a becomes 4 root n equals so let's take this one here we have 4 plus n minus 4 n then we have 4 root n equals 4 minus plus n minus 4n, that is minus 3n. So therefore, I proceed. We are going to take another square of both sides. So here we have 4 root n squared equals 4 minus 3n squared. So here 4 squared that is 16 and root n cancel squared we have 16 n equals so for by what we have above what we applied already we are going to have 4 squared that is 16 minus we multiply all this together we are going to have it as 24 n plus 9 n squared so I have to be very fast so I have applied this above here we are going to take this one to the other side and the result here is 9 n squared minus 40n plus 16 equals 0. Here we have a quadratic equation. We have to solve this and get the two values that uh, for this quadratic equation. Here is factorizable. Let's multiply 9 by 16. So 9 times 16 that is 144. So here we have this as sum. And we have this as product. And here we have 144. Here is 40. So the two values we are going to apply here is. Let's say we multiply. Here we have um, 40 here. And we want to look for a number that the sum will be equals to. Uh, will be equals to 40. And the product will be equals to. 16 uh, which is 144 so let's say we multiply 36 by 4 you know 36 times 4 here so this gives us 144 and uh, minus 36 minus 4 that gives us minus 40 so therefore we are going to replace this and here we have 9n squared 
minus 36n minus 4n plus 16 equals 0. So we have to place this together and then we factor out what is common to them. Let's say we take out 9n out of this. So here becomes n minus 4. And also, when we take 4 out of this, we have this as n minus 4. Then 9n minus 4, we place it together. And n minus 4, we also place it together. Therefore, we have... So here we have 9n minus 4. Then beside nine, n minus 4 equals 0. So therefore, we can have this as 9n minus 4 equals to 0. Or we have n minus 4 equals to 0. Then here we have 9n equals to 4. And here we have n equals to 4. By dividing both sides by 9, here we have 9 equals 4 divided by 9. And here is n equals 4. We see that we got two solutions for this. And let's see the one that satisfies this problem. You know, let's say we test for this first. The question says 2 root n plus root n equals 2. Let's input 4. Here we have 2 root 4 plus root 4 we want to check if this equals 2 so by this 2 times root 4 equals to 2 that is 2 times 2 that is 4 plus here is 2 so this is not equals to 2 because this is 6 this is 2 it means that when this does not satisfy the other will satisfy these given equations and this is how to solve this problem i hope we learned something today thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next class never stop learning bye bye